Adequate housing is a first line of defense against health risks, reducing the spread of diseases and enables people to follow sanitary protocols. The need for adequate housing has become so much more stronger now as the world faces the COVID-19 pandemic. Urban areas count for 95% of all confirmed cases and have been at the epicenter of this pandemic. We have seen hospitals overflowing, jobs disappearing, schools closed and movement restricted. But we can and we will recover and use our experiences to build back better and greener. While the impact of COVID-19 can be felt all over the Philippines, it is especially amplified in areas recovering from conflict, such as Marawi City, where a siege by pro-ISIS militants against government forces broke out in May to October 2017, displacing thousands of families. COVID-19 safety protocols, community quarantine, and travel restrictions posed a major challenge to the rebuilding Marawi project of UN Habitat funded by the people of Japan. With the goal of providing permanent shelter to displaced families of the Marawi siege, the COVID-19 pandemic brought to a halt the construction work at the sites in the first few months of the pandemic. When mobility restrictions eased, UN Habitat and the homeowners associations put in place health measures at the construction sites as building of houses resumes, ensuring that project teams, partners, workers, and suppliers who enter the sites observe mandated COVID-19 protocols. It also tapped local health volunteers to ensure the observance of COVID protocols as construction work moves on. Dahil sa banda ng COVID-19, nais namin mapanatili ang aming construction site na COVID-free. Halimbawa lang, mayroon tayong mga hand-washing facilities kung saan pwede tayong magpugas, lalo na ang mga construction workers, ang aming mga homeowners association members, ang mga project team engineers na silang gumagawa ng construction. Pinapaalala din natin sa ating mga bisita at mga construction workers ang palaging pagsusuot ng mask, ang madalas na pagugas ng kamay, hand sanitizers, ang mapanatili ang 1 meter social distancing. The importance of COVID-free construction to ensure that project goals are not derailed is not lost among people who contribute in keeping the project going amidst the pandemic. Ako po si Ali M. Rahman, isang IDP. Isa po ako sa naapiktuan ng uh, gira, yung siege, Marawi siege. Sa panahon ngayon, na panahon ng pandemic, COVID-19, ibinibigay ko sa kanila ngayon, sa ngayon, ay itong isa yung pagdideliver namin ng construction materials. Kasi po, yung livelihood na ibinigay sa amin, ang aming livelihood ay uh, construction material. Howling and uh, magdala ng uh, sand, gravel, aggregate. Ang construction, kailang kailangan talaga na ipagpatuloy kahit na may COVID, pandemic. Kasi po, una, kami mga naapiktuan na IDPs dito sa Marawi, karamihan ay mga umbi. Nangungupaan kami hanggang ngayon. Kung hindi matapos yung mga bahay namin, mga shelters na ibibigay ng UN Habitat, wala kaming matitiraan. Kaya, kailang kailangan talaga matapos. Beyond the construction sites, UN Habitat is among the humanitarian agencies that provided early response to the pandemic in Marawi City through its project, COVID-19 Response as We Rebuild Marawi. The intervention aimed at supporting internally displaced families living in transitional sites, families in remote barangays, local authorities, and the COVID-19 Incident Command Center of the local government of Marawi. The distribution of personal protective equipment and provision of disinfectant supplies to offices and personnel providing frontline services. Installation of water, sanitation and hygiene facilities in strategic places such
such as checkpoints. When enhanced community quarantine was imposed, most shops have closed, travel has been restricted, a curfew has been strictly enforced, and people have been ordered to stay home, thereby affecting food security of families. In response, the project operated satellite market and mobile stores to facilitate easy access to food and basic necessities sold at subsidized or wholesale prices for vulnerable displaced families, particularly those living in the remote communities of Marawi. It promoted small-scale vegetable growing at household and community levels to increase food security. So, so is a uh di pa tayo nakakabangon ng uh, seeds, no? Actually, bumangon na ba't not, not really fully recovered, no? So, nandito naman yung pandemic. So, we understand na video video quarantine, no? Uh, for Maral City and uh, one of the school is uh, enhanced, no? Enhanced uh, community quarantine, which is uh, video stricto, stricto than the general uh, community quarantine. So, the movement ng mga tao is uh, very limited na. So, ngayon with this project is uh, training them. Kasi instead of the people going out to buy the essentials, nandito po tayo. Ito yung uh, satellite market at saka mobile store natin na uh, within their uh, area, which is uh, very helpful sa kanila. We cannot really quantify it. Even sa dinikita natin yung effect na, which is uh, very helpful sa in addressing gaps in local emergency response, UN Habitat is providing capacity development support to the local government of Marawi City through enhancement of its incident command system through the provision of equipment and executive training and incident command center management. UN Habitat continues to stress health as essential component of adequate housing as we face COVID-19 pandemic as it joins the world in working towards housing for all for a better urban future in this urban October celebration.